What's going on guys? Got the Black Widow Elite. I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to check it out. Let's see how it's all about. Get out. So it's the Black Widow Elite. It's the yellow switches. Which are linear and silent. So we can say. Um, let's see what else they got. Let's get into the unboxing. Bang bang. You got your manual here. The good old manual. Let me know what reads that. Padding man, crazy padding. All right, let's move this crap out the way. All right, so we got the. Oh yeah, this feels great. Comes with um, an armrest here. Feels very nice, very soft. Yep, it's a magnetic, so it just pops on here and it stays on there. Comes with two USB ports. And then your box on the side you have your USB here and your aux there and this is this thing is sturdy as hell it's all aluminum this thing is very sturdy it's aluminum wow it feels very rigid you got your um Back stands here, and also the smaller ones here. Oh, yeah, it's not even going anywhere. Oh, this feels great. This is very nice. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to plug it in, check it out on the Synapse. Alright guys, I'm back at it again with another video. Continue the Black Widow Elite uh, review. It's been six months because, uh, yeah, life. And uh, I had some games in with this, a lot of games. I'm, I'm fully experienced with this thing now. So this thing, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's awesome. This thing has yellow switches. As you can see the switch right there. Hopefully you can see that. Well, anyway, it has a switch right there. Those are the yellow switches. They're easy to pop off, put them back in. This is the sound. So, so the green switches make this sound right here. It's like a huge click. That's, that's like the green mechanical switches. These are not. These are the yellow switches, which is these. So it's... Yeah, so when you go on the website, you can hear it. Um, the mic doesn't really pick it up. I like it because you can't really... This is like the silent one, so... They're, they're good. You don't really have an issue with someone saying about your... Unless you're spamming your keys and your mic is right there. So that's good. Um, the getting used to it was uh, pretty easy. I like it. Uh, and the key presses on it are obviously at the top of the press. That's where the action happens. So you don't really have to press. You can press down a little bit 
and you can start typing some. See, just a little bit. I'm, not even, I'm barely touching it. And my browser is going off right now. So it's right at the top. So when you're playing in game, you could hit your you hit your switches a lot faster than somebody else that has to push down all the way down to complete the action where you're just tapping real slow. I mean tapping it and bang the action is produced. So that's why I like it. Uh, so there's a big difference in that plus the silence of this and plus the RBGs. The RBG lighting of this thing is crazy. It looks phenomenal. Let me show you uh, a couple features in the in the in the Naga section. All right, so this is your Synapse 3.0. Uh, so it's really easy to navigate through. Here's my where's Naga Black Widow, and these are some of the things you could have on it, like lights from Philips, and and so you, they could go with your keyboard there. So that's that's pretty awesome. Um, just to navigate to your keyboard, here's the keyboard. You could uh, assign your keys to anything you want. For a function, you could have a, you could rebind your your T button to like a macro or some, what macro you want. You could choose what macro you want. You could put, press it multiple times, off and on, or just press it once. So that's cool. Switch profile. Uh, one other thing is like if you have like shift, you could put it so you could rebind your everything by using the hyper shift. If you hyper shift some, you press your shift button, you could rebind your whole entire keyboard into another set of macros. So every time you press shift and then S, let's say your W your W button is just walking. If you press your shift W and you keybind that into let's say shoot so you could shoot or crouch or something like that so it gives you a nice ability of of uh, extending your mar uh, key lines here and now you, you can put this on the mouse too, your, this hyper shift key see uh, here's a hyper shift it gives you a whole nother layout I don't really use hyper shift but I mean it's good here's the profile my Fortnite profile, here's a standard profile the lightning effects of it, brightness off and on you can put it down in brightness, you can pick it up when to do, you could uh, choose your uh, effects here let's go into uh, what is it studio here so here's some effects you could have. You could you can assign the keys or, or whatever. You could have have display this, have display that. Um, here's like a fire effect. I'm gonna show you the real effect on the keyboard in a sec. Here, here's like a wave of going through. So you could have a, a wave. You put down the scroll wheel here. And the, here's a what else? A wave going through here. You can make this faster, slower. So you gotta do is just keep on that. Here's your mouse too. You can make this faster like that, slower. All right. So here's the yellow switch that was on here. Here it is. Now it is. You can just put it back on whenever you like. Push it down, and there it is. Here's the clicking test of it. So none of that clicking this. All right. Now let me show you the wave here. Let me set it up here. I'm just going to show you uh, the few that are cool. So this is like the wave. I'm going to make it faster for you guys. So you can see that. The effect is going real fast now. 
Alright, here's the wheel. The wheel right there switches all the colors. In the middle there, let's make it faster. And my Razor Naga here is also changing colors while that's going too. So everything is going crazy. Here's a fire effect. Like something's on fire. Now it is the daytime, so at nighttime this thing really pops. Here's my Razor Naga with that. Show you this right here, reactive. Every time I press a button, it comes up. And then the ripple over right here. This thing is cool. Every time I press a button. See, I'm not even touching the button, I'm just touching a little bit and it affects. So that's the key, key, key press right here. Right at the top of the key press. Let me show you this focusing. Right at the top, rang. So you don't have to go all the way down. This is the whole press. And the actual press happens like right there, one eighth of a press. This is the whole press. And it, and it goes right at the top. So that, that's awesome. That alone is crazy features. So you, this goes all the way down. You know my raisin that guy's going crazy. So yeah, you could change colors on this. This is all customizable. It has a USB port on the side here, an audio port. So if you want to charge up your phone right there, that's cool. The logo right there it lights up as well. And here are some uh, auto buttons yeah, you can press. You have your volume up and down, music playing, play pause right there. Next song, reverse song. Oh, this is mute button. I'm sorry, that's mute button, and this is uh, playing on and off. And then the standard features on the bottom here. Here's the back of it. Here's the back of it, the latches here. You could have a big latch. And here's another one, a little latch. Alright, so I mean, overall the keyboard is amazing. You could also have like the macros that you see in like YouTube. You can search it up, have your own macros. Uh, like a like a floor shoe macro or some, a wall replacement macro, crouch shoot edit. So you could have macros all over, or you can just get good at the game. <laughs> so yeah, and this will definitely improve your game. Uh, if you have like an older keyboard, this this thing's awesome, especially at night. It pops. And the colors go through it, and people are like, damn, what is that, you know? So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just a nice visual on a desk. Plus, the performance of it is amazing. I haven't had any trouble with it, except they had updated this uh, Synapse a couple times. So, by then, like now, the Synapse version of it is alright. But back then it wasn't. I had to. You might have to like unplug your keyboard to plug it back in, so your computer recognizes. Maybe it's just my computer. I don't know. But if if you like start up your computer and doesn't recognize it, just unplug it, plug it back in, and everything is good to go. Um. And yeah. I mean, thumbs up. I give it a hundred percent. Uh. So yeah, if you guys like the video, thumbs up on it. Check out the pricing on the bottom uh, if you want to check out the price. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you like the video. Peace out.